All right, guys, you missed out on a couple things just because I, uh, well, I forgot to do a video. I went to do a video and grabbed the camera and the battery was dead. So then I plugged the camera in. Then by that time, I'd forgotten to do the video and it was a day later. So if you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, you've seen we've got a 69 GMC panel van come in. Complete frame off restoration and this thing is a rot box. I'm sorry if the owner's out there watching, but he knows it. it's a rot box. But it's a cool damn vehicle. And what do we fix here? Anything and everything. Give me your pedal car. Give me your baby carriage. Give me your fridge. I don't give a shit. We'll fix it. We'll paint it. Away you go. But here we go. We've taken it off the frame. Actually, here's a clump of parts right here. There's more parts outside, but there we go. It's on a cart underneath of the cherry pickers just in the front, just in case, because she's a little front heavy. But look at this. Like, Mike has cut everything out of here. It's done a fantastic job cutting it out, just looking good. Wood floor back here. Thank God, that saves on some metal work, right? But she's a big, big vehicle with many layers of rolled on paint. You heard me right, rolled on with a roller. There's hundreds of hours just in body work alone. You probably can't tell on here, but this thing is so wavy and so full of orange peel and so full of shit that if a fly landed on it, it would break its own legs. That's how bad it is. Look at it here. Rotten here, pieces are gone. Like basically, from the bottom of this light all the way across, you're gonna cut that and just replace it all. You're doing the floors, you're doing the inner and outer rockers, you're putting new doors, new fenders, new rad support, new hood, you're doing it all. The rear doors are rotten, I'll show you those in a second. She's been banged up here, she's been banged up there. She's a rough old girl. I mean, look at, can you see the dents in that panel there? If you can see them, well that panel, this is this panel, so you can just imagine what's gonna happen. I mean, look at this, what the fuck is going on here? Who knows? Pretty bad. There's our wooden floor, but I do like it's got a wooden floor. So, um, I'll show you the doors here in a minute, but while we're over here, take a look, the, uh, the 68 Ragtop Camaro. I got all the front brakes all assembled. I know, drum brakes, why? Well, it's original. Customer didn't want to upgrade the disc, he wanted to leave it drum, that's fine. It's all good with me. Got all the steering hooked up. I don't know if you can see that down there. Got all that. Uh, fitted the power booster right now. Just hang in the master cylinder. I don't ever put master cylinders on. I always bench bleed them first. Just easier. Bench bleed them, cap them off, leave them. But I'm just hanging it right now there so I can figure out what lines go where. Uh, what else have I done here? Firewall pad. See if we can see this. It's kind of cramped here. Oh. I don't know if you can see. Got the firewall pad up and in there. Um, brake pedal assembly in it. Uh, got the... Uh, Got the gas tank in there, cleaned up, all painted, got that all done. Traction bars, he wanted traction bars, and yes, he wanted them yellow. He gets what he wants. The customer is the boss at the end of the day. They're the ones paying, you gotta remember that. Um, so just, yeah, just getting stuff put together here on this. Uh, tomorrow I'll get the drums on it. I'll get all the brake lines ran to the front. I'll figure out what goes up to the booster there. And then I can't do the back yet because I had to order backing plates. The diff has not got backing plates on it. So I can't deal with the back brakes. Uh, I do got the gas line kind of hanging here. You can see it's looped in the air here. Got the gas line all ran, taken care of. So when he comes out maybe next week, which is payday, I'll get him to bring all the heater shit, the wipers, get all that cleaned up, get the heater core renewed, get that all mounted in there. And then that's kind of all done, right? Still got to do the body work on this car, but I'm just kind of working on the mechanical aspect of it right now. Um, you remember the, the 69 Camaro now, the one that was a race car. There's some pieces that the, that the, a gentleman had bought. Um, we had to, well, Mike had to drill and get them all spot welded. They were just big hunks of rear quarters the guy got. Because his car, all this is cut away. We'll take a look at that. And, and if you remember, the firewall was all, oh, oh, hang on. Change the subject again. Here's the doors off this panel truck. Look at this. Nice patch job, eh? Just to screw some sheet metal right up over top. And trust me, I'm not going to pull it out, but th th it, there's nothing on the bottom either. They're rotten. They're just gone. So, but um, here is the, uh, here's the Camaro undercover. So, what I was just talking about, those panels, they go, you can see, it's all cut out in there. So they go all up in there. Um, the firewall was all cut out too. And Mike grafted in another piece, a used piece from another vehicle, and you can't even tell. 
think he filled up something like 80 or 90 some odd holes on this firewall that weren't supposed to be there. But it was a race car, remember? Uh, the El Camino is all back together. There you go. Fenders are on it. Hoods on it. Um, I'll open it up here if I can. It's pretty. Let me set the camera down here. nothing let me see if I can get my flashlight on I'm not used to this daylight saving time bullshit where it's dark at four o'clock there you go so you can see we did all the fenders a nice satin black blast all the hood hinges all the firewalls all painted Let's see how it looks steering box cast iron all the frame was painted up got all that done rad support all painted all the headlight buckets painted back in. Everything back together like it should be. Looking really, really good. Okay. So, that is what's happening there. And this is the frame off that big old 69. It needs work too. Look at the frame in the back. Rotten here, rotten and twisted here. All rotten there, but the rest of it's solid. So we're going to put some newer aftermarket suspension and disc brakes and get the rear end all rebuilt and beefed up, and that's what's going on there. Here's a truck box. We won't even get onto that about on this video. We'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what Sean's got on the go in here. So somebody asked where the uh, the um, the Buick gone, it's in here. Sean's working away on the body. There we go. So he's got the, uh, he's got the, the quarters roughing in the body work there and on the roof and the doors. Not getting into the front yet, just gonna kinda get this done. Get it in first primer, take a break from it for a while and move on to something else. There you go. Looking pretty good, nice lines, gaps there. No. And real good. Come on to this side. He's got it looking good. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, almost done. Bottom of the door. Nice. Nice, nice. Primer day tomorrow then. Yeah. Nice. That's a good way to end the week. No, right. Yeah. Right? right? I was yeah. hoping today. Yeah. No, it's all right. It's all good. Yeah. 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 Put it on, and there it is. You take it off. <laughs> well, that's the name of the game. All right. Okay, good. Oh. And uh, the Falcon. You remember the little Falcon? This is probably what is going to come in first. So Sean just said he was going to be priming tomorrow. So that'll be a bit of priming for her tomorrow for him. Tomorrow's Friday. Yes, it's Remembrance Day for us, but we are open. We are open. We will be out here. The gate will be locked because it is a holiday, so we don't want any anybody actually coming around. We just want to go through our day nice and quiet and peacefully. So uh, anyone trying to come around, you won't be able to get in, but we will be here working. But anyway, what I was going to say, so if he's priming tomorrow, that means he's probably going to be a better half of the day, probably a good four hours. So he'll probably spend the last four hours of his day on here, and then he'll go back on it Saturday because, yes, he works Saturday, Sean. So we did the roof. This is... Bodywork roughed in. Now Sean's rough in a bodywork is usually like 70% finished, believe it or not. You could almost block his rough in bodywork and paint it, but we like to go over it again and do another primer and you know, just to make sure everything's perfect. So he'll probably start probably probably tomorrow he'll start on the quarters. So he'll probably go on to this tomorrow afternoon, definitely Saturday, probably get both quarters done, get the chunk lid all done and get that in first primer by sometime probably well Probably midweek next week. Be a good four or five days on here, I would think. But good little car coming along. Coming along real nice. So, and here's all the parts left over from the Suburban that are laying in here that got all yanked up. A lot of this stuff is garbage, like I say. Fenders are garbage, hoods garbage, doors are garbage. Take out what we need, chuck them. Get rid of them. Already picked up a good pair of rust-free doors right out of Arizona for the back. Cargo doors, that's a good thing. Really good thing. Hard to find that shit. I was lucky on that one. 
So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, gotta close the door up. Keep what little heat I got. Go in here. Oh, God. So, we got lots on the go. So anyone wondering if I'm booking any work right now in? No. No, unless it's something real quick and simple, like a day or two, maybe, but no, not booking nothing in. Um, I'm, I'm booking into like, I don't know, springtime next year. I don't know how many jobs you got on the go. I think we got nine jobs on the go right now for three of us here. That's plenty, we're good. So, but I will put you on the board. So if you want to get a job done here at Old Time Garage, you better call me, you better get me to look at it, and you better go on the board. Because if you're not on the board, I just go by who's on the board first. That's how it happens, that's how it works. Here is my beautiful wall that was painted. I started putting some of the stuff back. Hanging up all my shit over here. All right. I'm going to get some more decals and put on there. Got my Ford's ice cream clock going on there. Pretty cool, eh? Gotta love that. Look at that. Ah, oh, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do you like that yet? Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. So that is what is going on here at Old Time Garage. You didn't miss out on a hell of a lot. Well, maybe you did. What can I tell you? Anyway, hey, it's always a good time at Old Time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Christmas is near. I got toques. I got shirts. I got decals. I got beer cozies. I got everything you need for Christmas time. Come on. Give me a jingle and buy something. See you later.